Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come to you right now in the name of Jesus. For you made this day possible for me to come through, my God. Well, my God, in good health and with strength, oh God. I thank you, oh God, for placing me here right now to do your word. Right now to speak your message. Right now to release this. I ask you right now in the name of Jesus that you will back all of this up in the heavens. That you will back all of this up in the natural. And I thank you, Jesus, for you are supernatural. You are glorious. You are majestic. You are omnipotent. I thank you, Father, for what you're doing right now in this season. Now, God, I ask that you will bring forth this word, my God, with edification. My God, manifestation. My God, glorification. In Jesus' name, amen. People of God, I have a word for you. I have a word for you. I had garbage, but now I have purpose. <laughs> My God, I had garbage with me, but now I have purpose with me. What you saying, prophet? What I'm saying is that old things are left behind. He said, behold, it has become new. Glory to God. Let me tell you something. Philippians chapter 3 verse 13 say, Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what's behind and straining my God toward my God, what is ahead of me. My God. It said, forgetting what is behind. I cannot remember what is behind me. I cannot look back and say, what is this behind me? Amen. Where is it at? I have to look towards the mark of the higher calling, which is through Jesus. Many of you have garbage. You have a lot of stinky garbage. Bagged up on the inside of you. You're carrying too much weight. You're carrying too much stuff. I told Chief Apostle William. Amen. I'm connected to him in the spirit. God told him I am. And I told him yesterday. Amen. I prophesied. I said, when you go to your flight, you can't take everything with you. He said, you used to um, take everything with you, but now it changed. You can't take a whole lot with you. What I'm saying right now to you, you can't take a whole lot with you. Where God is taking you, you can't take a lot with you. What God is saying you. What God is saying to you, you can't say a whole lot about it. Some things are meant not to be said. You have to do it in secret. Don't tell everybody what you're doing and when you're going to do it. Because he rewards you open. He would do it openly. He would do it publicly. Amen. You have garbage with you. You have too much on you. God says he will not put more on you than you can bear. I'm going to use the word. He said I will not put more on you than you can bear. He knows it's too much for you. you. He knows that you can't do but so much at one time. You know, so many people are multitasking. You know, they multitask. They can do more than one thing in one day. I can't do that. I have to take my time. You understand? Um, I've always been that person. I have to take my time. I'm slower than other people. Not saying um, I don't know anything. And I'm not quick enough. It's just that I like to look at things longer than expected. I like to look at what I'm doing. I have to look at what I'm reading. When I'm being taught. And what I am teaching. I have to look at things longer than other people. And I get it fully. Amen. Well, other people just look at it 
and then they go to the next task. They go to the next uh, solution. They go to the next phase in their life. I take my time. There's no rushing with me. I'm not rushing anything. I used to, but God had to tell me, wait on me. So right now, I had to let go of the garbage that I had for God to give me my purpose. My God. You see, God has to clean up the rubbish. My God. And the residue that you leave behind. My God. You have to leave things behind you. Old things have passed away. Behold, things are new now. Amen. Philippians 3, amen, says forget those things that are behind you. Forget it. Just start forgetting. Ask God, let me forget this. Amen. God says right now that he'll put it into the sea of forgetfulness. You will not remember. And so God is saying right now that you have to retrain your mind. Because you forgot those things. You have to retrain your mind to new things. What God is doing for you and in you. Amen. My God. If you retrain your mind back to the old thing, you will stay in the garbage. God says, come out of that garbage and find your purpose. Know your purpose. Know where your purpose is. And know who gave you your purpose. My God, we know who is the purpose maker, the purpose creator. That is the creator, which is Jesus Christ. He gave you purpose. He established purpose. He gave you establishment. He gave you admonishment. God has given you the victory to stand up for righteousness, for holiness, for deliverance. God wants to give you deliverance in any area, in many areas, many parts of you. If you will let him come inside of you. My God. I said God wants to deliver every part of you. Every area of you. If you will let him deliver you. My God. If you will let him clean you. Remake you. Remold you. Shift you. Grow you. Consecrate you. God will deliver you. Deliverance is coming over you. Deliverance is coming inside of you. Where it is, amen, God is putting right there. God is putting it right there inside of your mind. You need deliverance. Some of you say, I need deliverance right now. I need deliverance so bad, it's ridiculous. Now it is ridiculous. Amen. Glory to God. Because you kept skipping over it, skipping over it, skipping it and skipping it and skipping it. Knowing that you wanted it, you wanted it, you wanted it, you wanted it. Now you have so much baggage, so much uh, clutter and garbage with you, which is residue, which is issue. Now you act like you don't know what to do with it. Amen. You don't know where to start. But God is saying if you pray without ceasing, I will speak to you on how to do it. My God. Seek me, you will find me. Amen. Glory to God. Pray to me and I will answer you. Amen. Hear my voice. Incline your ear to hear what the Spirit of the Lord says to you. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord wants to talk to you right now. Are you willing to hear? Are you willing to listen to him? It's time for us to listen to the Holy Spirit. 
Like, for example, you're in an apartment complex and there is, um, a, 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 oh my God, a double sire. You're in an apartment complex. I'm getting so happy right now. You're in an apartment complex and all of a sudden you feel kind of nauseous. Like you feel funny. Like something is wrong. Something is up. Something is going on. You don't know for sure, but something is 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 bothering you in your spirit. And you say, God, what is it? Why am I feeling this? And then all of a sudden you, you smell smoke. You, you, and then you look out the window, you see a whole lot of fire traveling throughout the apartment complex. God says, get out and get out now and get out quickly. God saved your life. God didn't allow you to die in that fire. Amen. Whether it's an apartment or a house. Amen. God did not allow you to die in that fire. Amen. With third degree burns or more burns. God wants you to understand. You have to listen to my Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God. If you were driving. Amen. Somewhere. Amen. And, and God told you, amen, reroute and go somewhere else. Amen. How the both shy. And all of a sudden there was a there was gunpoint right where you was going to go to, but you ended up turning another way. My God. God was there. Because you listened to the Holy Spirit. You drove off instead of drawing uh, instead of driving to the place, to the destination where God told you not to go. You drove away from it. And God is saying right now, I saved you then. Listen, there's so many examples of listening to the Holy Spirit and what happens when you do it. But God is saying right now, there's a lot of baggage on you that is causing you not to hear the Holy Spirit. There, there, there's a lot of garbage. There's a lot of disposables. There's a lot of things that you're holding to. Amen. There's a lot of things that you don't want to remove, let off, that's causing you not to listen to what God is saying and what God is doing. You don't know what God is doing. You can't hear it clearly. Amen. You might hear a portion, but you're not hearing all of it. Amen. God wants you to clear your mind, clear your eyes from things, clear your temple from things so that you can get the whole picture. I heard prophetess, um, you know, Janina Bidem uh, talk about this. Amen. Pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. But read more. Read more in the scripture. Read the scripture more until you see the whole picture. Amen. She said, read the scripture more so you can see the whole picture when you're praying. Amen. For somebody or for something. Amen. Get into the scripture and pray the scripture until you see the picture. Amen. Glory to God. Until you see the full portrait. Until you see the full prophecy manifesting before you. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I want to see the full picture. What about you? Don't you want to see the full picture? Amen. Hallelujah. You don't want nothing halfway shown to you. You want it fully shown to you. Amen. You want it fully described to you. Not halfway described to you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You want the full manifestation? Put it to the comments. I want full manifestation. I don't want halfway manifestation. I don't want it to come to me halfway. I want it, I want it to come to me full time, fully to me. Come on. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory. Listen, there's power in the name of Jesus. Don't you know? There's power in his name. When you speak 
his name, things become visual. I said things become visual to you when you speak Jesus. Amen. It's not going to be invisible. It's going to be visible. I want you to put into the comments, everything that God shows me is visible, is not invisible. My God. My eyes are on it. My God. Listen, I know there are times in your life where doubt tries to come in. But you have to tell doubt, I'm not doubting. You have to tell doubt, I am not doubting. You got to tell that spirit, I'm not going to doubt. Amen? Crucify that spirit. Bind it. Uproot it. I recommend you, all of you, to get books on uprooting prayers. Amen. If you don't know how to pray, if you don't know what necessarily to say to God or to say to your situation, look online. There's plenty of uprooting prayers, declarations, uh, prayer points that you can pray daily, every day. Amen. Because I, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be truthful. Everybody is not going to be there for you. Can I be real? A lot of people is not going to be there with you always. You understand me? God said in his word, I work out my own soul salvation with fear and trembling." He said, work out your own. He said, work out your own. He said, own. O-W-N, your own salvation with fear and trembling. Meaning it's only you. My God. It's just you. My God. One person. There's not going to be 20 people or 10 people or 30 people in one casket. Are you crazy? He said, work out your own soul salvation. He said, you, you better get to heaven. You better see God's face. You better get there yourself. If nobody is, you better. We're in the last days. My brothers and my sisters. There's garbage, but God says, you have purpose. You have a purpose. You have a purpose. Speak it, decree it, and declare it. I don't have garbage. I have purpose. I dare you to put in the comments right now. I'm testing your faith. I'm testing your relationship that you have with God. Tell God, I don't have garbage. I have purpose. You gave me a purpose. And I want to know my purpose. I want to walk in my purpose. I want to live through my purpose. I want to have it on purpose. My God, I want to have it on purpose. I want my purpose and I want to have it on purpose. My God. See, that's good. Put that on your social media platforms. Amen. Hashtag, I have purpose. My God. What does a garbage man do? What does a garbage truck do? It, it, it has this machine hooked to the, to the truck 
that picks it up and puts it and dumps it in the back of the truck. What am I saying? I'm saying go dump all of your garbage in God's hands. Dump all of your garbage in God's hands. He can take it. He can take the garbage. Let him have the garbage. Because you have purpose. You have purpose. You have purpose. You have purpose. Nothing is too stinky for God's nose to take with him from you. Let him take it. Let him have it. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Hallelujah. Share this right now. Share this video. To receive the blessing of your purpose. My God. Listen, God is cleaning up your garbage. God is cleaning you from the inner to the outer. God is cleaning you. Mm. Put into the comments, clean me. Clean me. Speak this declaration. Clean me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, clean me, God. From the inner to the outer. I don't want to be this way. I don't want to be like this. Clean me. So that your word can stay in me. So that your word can operate in me. So that your word can work things out. My God. If you could clean your body through, through um, hygiene, you could clean spiritually for God. My God. Let me use this uh, um this example, if you don't take a shower, if you don't take a bath, if you don't sit in a tub, amen, and wash yourself, amen, with body wash, amen, come on, you are going to smell very horribly. You're going to have an odor through your skin. Amen. My God. The scent is going to reek if you do not scrub and rub and wash and dry off in fragrance. You're going to smell all day. But if you let God clean you, the aroma on you is going to smell very sweet. It's going to have splendor. Receive the goodness of the Lord. Receive his goodness. Receive his goodness. Lord, we thank you. We praise you right now for giving us hope. For giving us the, the strength to do anything for you, for anyone. Lord, be our GPS, be our navigation. Take us anywhere. Take us to somebody to minister to. Lord, we looking towards the hills with come with our help. Our help comes from you. 
we thank you. This morning or in the night hours where some of these individuals are in the world, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Please share this video. Share it to how many you will like. God loves you. He just wants all of your garbage. He just wants all of your garbage. He just wants your garbage. He just wants your garbage. He wants all of it. Eh, la na ya shano kashia. He wants all of it. If you want to stay in the same level and not go to the next level, eh, you chose that level. You chose to stay there. But as for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, I am going to. So let me tell you something. I'm going to the next level. You better come with me. You better come with me to the next level. Amen. Whew. Share this right now. God bless you. Have a blessed morning or a blessed night wherever you are. God bless you.